Hi, I'm Rob D with Rob B, and today we're talking about a topic that can divide opinions, that is buying property off plan. Yeah, in this video, we're gonna help you avoid disaster and win big. So before we get into the details, let's make sure we know what we're talking about here. What does buying off plan actually mean? Well, all it means is committing to buy a property before it's finished being built. Often you'll make off plan purchases before the property has started being built. So it's the very early stages of the development, but it doesn't have to be. If you commit to buying at any point before construction is actually completed, you could consider that an off plan purchase. So that's what it is, but why would you do it? Well, the main reason people entertain off plan property is the potential to get a discount. Owner occupiers, people who want to live in the property, are less likely to buy off plan because they want to go in, touch it, feel it, and fall in love with it. Whereas investors don't need to be as emotional. So to incentivize investors into making a purchase, developers will sometimes offer a discount. Now, a discount is great, but it can actually get even better when you introduce leverage into the equation. We'll take you through a couple of examples, but bear in mind, these are only illustrations. This is just a very simplified example to help you understand the point of why off-plan leverage can be so powerful. Okay, so let's look at the first example. We're gonna purchase a property for 200,000 pounds. Now, because we're buying off-plan, we're only gonna put 10% down. And in this example, we're gonna say that the property is off-plan for two years, which means the build period is two years out. So you just put 10% down, which would be £20,000. If you've bought right and the market is going in the right direction, then capital growth may kick in. And let's play it safe and say capital growth grows at a steady 5% a year. Well, if that transpires, then in two years time, your property will be worth £221,606. That's fantastic. You haven't even collected the keys yet and your property is worth more. But what's even better is that you've been controlling this asset with only 10% down. So your ROI, your return on investment is fantastic. So let's look at the final result. We put 20K in and our property has gone up by 21,606 pounds. So that means during the off-plan period, our ROI, our return on investment is a whopping 108%. And that's why off-plan can be the most profitable period of property investment if you get it right. Now that may seem fantastic, but it gets even better if you include a discount. So let's go again. We're gonna say we're gonna buy that 200,000 pound property, but we've been smart, we've been shrewd, and we've got a 10% discount. So we're actually buying it for 180,000, even though it's worth 200,000. Again, we're gonna put a 10% deposit down, which is 18,000 pounds, and we're gonna assume the same capital growth levels. So the property goes up by 5% a year which means if it's off plan for two years again, it would be worth, once again, £221,606. So that means it's now worth £41,606 more than what you purchased it at. Incredible, huge sums of money, well done you. But it gets better because you've secured this asset during the off plan period with only 10% down. Awesome, so only 18,000 pounds in this time, which means your 18,000 pound return has helped you realize a 41,606,000 pound increase. So what does that mean in terms of ROI? Well, brace yourselves, that's 231%. That 18,000 pounds has made 231% during the off-plan period. So buying off plan can be extremely powerful, but we all know what comes with great power. You need to take responsibility as well and protect yourself against some of the risks of off plan. There are more risks with buying off plan than there are with buying a property that's already complete, but there are some simple things you can do to control your risk. The first thing to do is to make sure that that discount is genuine. If the developer has just inflated the price by 10% and then brought it back down again, you're not gonna get the benefits of buying off plan that we've talked about. So very simple, just compare to what else there is locally and make sure that that discount is real. The next thing to do is make sure that the deposit you put down is protected. You'll want to see that your deposit is either held in escrow so the developer can't get their hands on it or that it's protected by warranty which means that if the property isn't completed for any reason, if in the worst case the developer goes bust, you're not going to be out of pocket. The insurance will kick in and make sure that you get all your money back. Another thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you pay no more than 10% deposit. And that's for a couple of reasons. The first reason is to maximise leverage. 
And the second reason is it's really difficult to protect a deposit once it goes above 10%. You sometimes see off-plan developments with 25, 35, 45, even sometimes 50% deposits required over the lifetime of the build. You want to avoid those. By leaving such large deposits, you're putting yourself at risk and your ability to take advantage of leverage is weakened. The other thing, of course, you're going to want to do is research the developer. Obviously, it's easier to buy in if they've got a proven track record. So make sure you spend a lot of time researching the developer. The upsides can be huge in an off-plan property, but if you get it wrong because of lack of research, it can also be a painful experience. So is it a good idea to buy off-plan? Just because it's off-plan doesn't automatically make it a good deal, but it doesn't make it a bad deal either. It's just like any other kind of investment. There are good deals and there are bad deals, and doing your research is the way to make sure you capture that upside and avoid the risks. So now you know how to avoid disaster and potentially win big with off-plan property. But this is a huge topic, so we've created a free course that you can take part on. You'll find it over at the Property Hub website. Yep, and there's plenty more on this channel as well, so make sure you subscribe below.